There is never nothingness. From the cosmic to the atomic, something resonates through all the matter and existence. Something that takes a familiar form as a constellation of stars or a crystallization of molecules. It turns out, the endlessness out there looks just like the endlessness in here. Every mass every cluster, and every molecule is a being, of a sort. And I'm one of these beings. What would I tell you if I could speak? And how did I get here? In this hand, in this form, shining like this, shaped this way. This is a family history. I gradually began to exist hundreds of millions of years ago, rupturing from the Pangea. I am formed out of vulnerability, strength and chance, at these exact points of fracture, under the grinding pressure of continental shifts, I began growing, crystallizing, hardening, hidden, silent or at least unheard. What was implacable and opaque slowly became transparent and crystalline. I carry traces of the origins of the world as you know it. Some people call these traces imperfections. Others call them inclusions. Our inclusions are an arcane language that only a few people know how to read. Telling them where I came from. I am made of the same materials as the stars. I am carbon. I am calcium. The matter of the universe the stuff of life. And now I'm here, in Rome, the Eternal City, just 3,000 years old. A product of human history, built by political and artistic invention like the world had never seen. I am before time before history. Cosmic and geological forces made me what I am. But so did centuries of human expertise and tradition. Knowledge transmitted across generations and around the world to uncover my hidden qualities. Human labor and tools wrenched me from the earth. I was brought to market, inspected, haggled over, bought and sold. It might be Colombia, Sri Lanka, Tanzania, Madagascar, Pakistan. I still hold within me the light, the luminescence of those places, the clear waters of Paraiba, the sky at dawn, emerald green, blue sapphire. I gave some colors their names. Since ancient Rome, I have been associated with the colors of plants and flowers. The Padparetcha sapphire evokes the pale pink of the lotus flower. Rubies remind the deep red of the cyclamen plant. I am nature. I am the light of a Roman sunset. The music of a morning in the city. I am made from these details. The rituals. The life. 
I am a shout in the street. Here in Rome, I go from gem to jewelry. I am transformed more in a few years by expert human hands than I was by billions of years of geological forces. Moved by skilled, gentle hands, I am arrayed next to others of my kind in rhythms of color and form. Each part of the whole must be composed into a harmony. The proportions, the cuts of the stones, the patterns, even the weight. How I will feel around someone's neck or wrist is taken into consideration. Every decision made here is meant to let me shine in ways I never could when I was hidden deep inside the planet. I'm inspected and orchestrated by masters of their craft who learn from the masters that went before them. Then, Rome plays its part again. I am encased and connected in geometries of gold, platinum, silver, echoes of shapes and patterns found across thousands of years of Roman history. And in the end, the composition feels natural, as if each one of us always knew where to go and what we will contribute to the whole. Now, I may be sold again, part of a larger whole. Then, who knows, maybe I'll be hidden away. Maybe I'll be worn every day.